Hi everyone, this is VK. Welcome to Smid World. Here I am with another video. VRM cement pre graining system, content, feed properties, feed inlet and distribution, dam ring modification, operation. First, Field properties keep correct size uh, for roller diameter. You can see here limited uh, maximum field size is lesser than 3% for hard material and uh, lesser than 5% for soft material. Particle size distribution uh, fraction below 1 mm to be kept uh, lesser than uh, 30%. Impact of field which is too fine. Vibrations and reduced production reasons drawing of a feed reducer and material aeration. Actions limiting impact of feed which is too fine. Table speed adaptation, slower rotation, increased damping height if material hard that is a slag type. Increased hydraulic pressure of rollers, inject water. Impact of feed which is too coarse, symptoms high kilowatt absorption of main drive and vibrations will come uh, measures modify cooler pressure or install a pressure and uh, saving of uh, pressure product uh, try to work with higher hydraulic pressure positive results to lower top size experiences uh, where the vertical raw mill performance was significantly better with the finer pressure settings uh, lower top size 4% production rate increase when a hammer crushing setting decreases from 50 mm to 25 mm. No change on percentage of particles is less than 22 mm. Low shape, uh, 8% uh, production rate increase when a hammer crushing setting changes from 80 mm to 50 mm. And 10% production rate increases when the top size was reduced from 100 mm to 75 mm. Uh, feed inlet and distribution basic rule uh, feed on center of the table make sure that your feed chute is in correct position dam ring modifications dam ring main task control of material retention on table and control of bed depth then dam ring Increase the level of material on the table through an increase of the damping height. Optimum damping height to be found through trial and error. Modify damping height by at least 10 mm each time. As the table wears, the damping height should be reduced accordingly. In low shear and fuller mills, possible addition solution is uh, you can see in the picture. The controls material flow leaving the grinding zone. This is the damping. The controls material bed thickness. Low dam ring, medium dam ring, high dam ring. You can see the vibrations versus pressure. Dam ring impact to impact of too high dam ring. High bed depth, increased power absorption, reduction of pressure required, reduced grinding efficiency, lower production, vibrations, lower stiffness of uh, PSD. Impact of too low dam ring, also inadequate design, low bed depth, vibrations, increased water demand, low power absorption of main drive, lower production, higher PSG stiffness. Problems and solutions uh, regarding dam ring. Situation during the operation of the drum mill, a capacity drop was observed over the time of wear of the table, the necessary cut of the dam ring was not done. So the solution was after the replacement of the table liners with the original thickness a significant capacity increase was observed. Cut the dam ring as the table wears to maintain optimal uh, material retention and bed depth. You can see here in the picture the dam ring height gap Table wear, table liner, 
मोर मेटेरियल रिटेंशन हाइयर किलोवाट ऑब्जर्व डैमरिंग गैप वन पार्ट लेस रिटेंशन ऑफ मेटीरियल सेम इफेक्ट एज अ लोअर लोअर डैमरिंग हाइट ड्यूरिंग द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द रामिल ए कैपेसिटी ड्रॉप वॉज ऑब्जर्व ओवर द टाइम ऑफ वेयर ऑफ द डैमरिंग हाइट वॉज नॉट अफेक्टेड एक्सपीरियंस मीन्स आफ्टर द रिपेयर ऑफ द डैमरिंग द कैपेसिटी वॉज ब्रॉट अप टू द ओरिजिनल लेवल दिस लीड्स टू द कंक्लूजन दैट प्राइमरली द गैप कंट्रीब्यूट्स टू द मेटीरियल retention on the grinding table and not the height of the damping so conclude was keep the gap between the rollers and damping small during the commission of the cement mill loshe operation without water to reduce the production loshe suggested was to decrease the damping height removal of 6 plus 8 to reduce vibrations and water injection after the removal of the damping segments the vibration increased and the production dropped significantly the water injection had to be increased lower bed depths do not necessarily lead to an improved grinding performance operation statistically every second vrm reduced fails Identific- identification of the root cause of uh, recurrent stoppage is the first step for solving the problem vibrations will stop so will stop its operation maintenance and design in operation some some consequences cause feed change lack of feed low temperatures from lack of feeder feeder blockage if come to the maintenance hydraulic fail wrong grinding tools if come to the design high operating pressure high table speed but vibrations can also become a cause of other failures interlocking and uh, production of loop or must production of mill main drive you can see in a graph 